My name is Elizabeth McGovern and I'm very lucky because I get to play with Simon Nelson. We have a band together called Sadie and the Hotheads and I'm always looking at him with awe at his guitar playing and asking him, how do you do that, how do you do that? And he has come up with an app which is very useful for improving your rhythm guitar playing. Often people say to me, they have problems with rhythm. They don't think about it. The right arm's kind of waggling up and down. They're not really sure what's happening with rhythm and they've got no control of it. Or else a lot of people, they just sort of get one rhythm and play every single song to the same rhythm. So me and my friend Andrew uh, Malloy came up with this great idea for an app to, to really kind of help people out with that. We've called our app Eight Strummer. Eight Strummer is a rhythm guitar primer. Strumming in eighths is when you take a four beat pattern. Four beats, by far the most common kind of rhythm, it's called common time. On the guitar, on those four beats, we play downstrokes. One, two, three, four, is downstrokes. In between the downstrokes, your arm is coming back up again and preparing to do the next downstroke. We call that the and part of the beat. So you get one, and two, and three, and four, and. And that's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you get a pattern. On pattern, you can choose the number of rests that you want. Altogether, there are a total of 254 different eighths rhythms. You can change the speed, so it's kind of like a metronome, but it's more than a metronome because you can actually hear the rhythm guitar pattern as well. All of these rhythms are available in the ice drummer, and when you pick the number of rests in pattern, you can then pick your guitar chord and play that pattern. The idea is to loop a rhythm and to practice it by repetition. When you loop a rhythm, it helps you to internalise it, it helps you to hear it, and it helps you to feel the combinations of down and up strums that make the rhythm pattern happen. It starts out very simple and you can learn by imitating the patterns of the rhythms that you hear on the app and then they, you can make them increasingly more complicated as you get better and better. Um, it's also very useful for practicing scales if you want to play a lead over these rhythmic patterns of one chord and stay in your chord shape and um, you could probably find a lot of things to do with it to help you improve your guitar playing so I really recommend it.